ladies and gentlemen, this is KOK World Series in Cyprus, Nicosia, and we are live. Now I would like to present main event of the evening, title match. Please welcome champion belt. The interim title is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. A title fight here in Cyprus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, title match. Blue corner, fighter representing Greece, Manolis Kalistis. This is a title fight, ladies and gentlemen, but it'll be a three-rounder. Three rounds of three minutes, standard KOK kickboxing time limit here in this interim championship fight. Manolis Kalistis, Greece. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Cyprus, Ismail al -Kadi. Another thunderous roar of applause here goes out in Nicosia, Cyprus. For young Ismail Al Khali, just 20 years old, has a Muay Thai background, a member of the Cyprus national Muay Thai team, and the biggest opportunity of his career so Ismail far. Ismail Al Khali, Cyprus. Take a look at the tail of the tape here. Look at how much younger Al Qadi is, but a little bit taller and a lot less Ladies experience. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 29 years old, official height 169 centimeter, official weight 57 kilos. His professional record: 18 wins, three by knockout, five losses. WKN champion, Max Payne champion, winner of KOK Super Fights, representing Zonga Fight Team, Greece. Manolis Kalisti. Fighting out of the red corner, 20 years old, official height 170 centimeter, official weight 57 kilos. His professional record: four wins, one by knockout, two losses. Winner of KOK Super Fights, member of Cyprus Muay Thai national team. Representing Alexi Muay Thai, Nicosia, Cyprus, Ismael al -Kadi. Eric Referi Valeri Mikalauskas, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Round one. Here we go, touch of gloves, and the main event is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, World Series from Nicosia, Cyprus. And that this fight has been upgraded to a title contest. It is an interim bout, but nevertheless, once you are the interim champion, you have earned yourself a right to fight for the world championship. And that's what is really at stake here, is opportunity. Not only a title fight, but an opportunity to fight for the world championship. Boy, look at Al Qadi really on point here in round one. Right hand found the mark. Head kick. Oh my, he's all over him now. He may have had both hands behind the head there, and I think he did because the referee is telling him about it. Hard body kick there. Al Qadi looks quick, he looks sharp, and he looks powerful.
Great combinations there. Boy, this kid has really improved a lot. I mean, he was good the last time I saw him, but you can see he's more mature now. Oh, oh my! Look at this! Just walking him down now. Looking for the knee. He was pushing that head at a very awkward angle. Oh, my! Another hard kick there. Looking for a shot over the top that time, I believe, Kalistis was. Another big shot. Ooh, he narrowly missed that one. And Kalisti's backing out, out of that corner, getting off those ropes. That's not a good place to be hanging out. Not when you got a guy trying to take your head off like that. Nice low kick on the tail end of that combination. Ooh, he connected. Kalisti's connected upstairs with a kick. Ooh, and he cleaned his clock with that shot. Time running out here in round one. And there's the bell. Go back and take a look at round number one. Very impactful round that time from Al Qadi, in my opinion. But right there towards the end, Kalistis made it interesting, didn't he? I think that uh, Kalistis finally was able to figure out something uh, towards the end of round number one, and that this fight's gonna perhaps get a little bit more competitive as we go forward. Remember, folks, three rounds here in this interim championship fight. Fighters. Second round. Three minutes on the clock here, round number two. This championship contest scheduled for three. Right hand perhaps found the target there from Al Qadi. Oh, and another right hand just jacked his jaw that time. Al Qadi needs to keep up the intensity, I think. Keep up the power, keep this kid moving. Don't give him time to think. Caught a left hand upstairs there. May have hit one after the referee had said to stop. Sticks him downstairs with the left. Ooh, an axe kick that time. Nobody home, and nobody home on that spin kick either. He dug way down deep in his bag of tricks for that one. <laughs> Al Qadi looking a little bit. Like he's overthinking it a little bit. In round number one, everything was just happening naturally and everything was happening, it was flowing for him now. Seems like he's thinking a little bit too much now. Oh, solid right hand that time. That one had laser accuracy. Oh, and look at this now. Really opening up in the corner. That's what Al Qadi needs to do here. That's when he's at his best.
when he's just going with the flow and just opening up on his opponent, that's when he's extremely dangerous. Nice counter left hand there though from Kalistis. Oh, and now it looks like there's some blood streaming out of the corner of the left eye of Kalistis. That is some deep, dark crimson coming out of the left eyebrow. And they're gonna have to have the doctor address that. That looks like a pretty nasty cut there. Yep, that is a, a very open wound there. It doesn't look to be a bleeder though. Looks like they they're, they're, looks like they will be able to get the bleeding under control and that more than likely this contest will continue. Yep, they, it's like I suspected. Right when he wiped that blood away, you could see that the bleeding just almost immediately stopped. Just put a little bit of pressure on there. But it does look like it's coming back just a little bit now, and so is al Qadi. He is really coming back here. Closing seconds now. Good low kick there. Time. End of round two. Take a look at some highlights there from round number two. Th there was a point uh, in the beginning of the contest there where, or excuse me, in the beginning of round number two, it did look like Margaronis had, had found his uh, distance and was starting to pull it together, but then out of nowhere, al Qadi returned in round number two. He got aggressive, he got, he got active, and he busted open the eye of Christos, of Manolis uh, Kalistis. Fighters. Well, they got a big gob of Vaseline on the eye now. That ought to keep it shut. If that doesn't, nothing will. Final round. Here we go, round number three. The title is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. The interim title. Ooh, and a left hand connects there from Kalistis. These two trading big shots back and forth here, playing a very dangerous game. Almost a kind of a push kick there that time to the sternum area. And Kalisti's having trouble finding a clean shot here. May have caught a kick upside the head. Well, those heads came very close to colliding just a moment ago. Both guys having trouble finding the target here. I think that they're getting tired here and they're getting a lot less accurate with their shots. Low kicks back and forth. Ooh, that was a knee that time. It may have found the target. Shots upstairs do. This is such an important round too, and it's a very hard one to score because th there's so many shots that are not landing cleanly. They're being blocked. They're landing on the arms, on the shoulders.
Big swing and a miss that time from Kalistis. Sticks him with a left jab. Right hand around the corner. Nice push kick on the belt line. No, that wasn't low, it was right on the belt line, but. Very hard fought round number three here, and we will go to the judges for a final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, who will walk out of this thing? The KOK interim champion. Nine. I'm gonna head up to the ring and We're see if I can get an interview here with our winner. To congratulate the fighters, I would like to invite the president of KOK, Mr. Donatas Simonaitis. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Cyprus, Nicosia. KOK Super Fight, and it was a title match. After three rounds, by unanimous decision, the winner and the KOK World Champion is... Red Corner, Ismail El Khadi, Cyprus! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Al Qadi. Congratulations. You get your medal there. That was a very tough fight. What was your opinion of the matchup? Well, I know that my opponent, Malonis Kalistis, is one of the best in Greece and in Cyprus. So it was a very good fight and a nice uh, challenge for me. Very hard and strong opponent. Well, congratulations, you are now the KOK Interim Champion. How does it feel to get the victory here in Nicosia and to have the belt? First of all, I'm very proud that I made my coach proud. I always do my best to make him proud. Then I want to thank everybody for the support. Thank you. Is there something you want to say in your language to all the fans here tonight? Θέλω να ευχαριστήσω από τα βάθη της καρδιάς μου όλους σας που ήρθατε εδώ και με στηρίξατε. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ismail Al-Khadi! All right, ladies and gentlemen, a quick word here too. Uh, with our runner-up, what was your opinion on the fight? Tell me again. Uh, Sim Sim is a very good fighter. Thank you, thank uh, Cyprus people to come here to see us. And that, my friend. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please applause one more time. Ismail El Khadi.